Welcome back to Haven Outside. I'm excited to go through this series today where we're walking through individual factors of our pool cost guide that's available on our website. And this will explain the basics of what goes in to the pricing of your pool to kind of help you understand exactly where your money's going. And the first one we're doing today is size, shape, and type. So let's dive right in. Gunite pools are the most customizable pool, meaning that you can have it in whatever size, shape, dimension that you want it because it's built material by material. It's not a kit. It's not a shell that you just plop in the ground. You can make it however you want how deep you want, how many stairs you want, the kind of stairs you want, the color you want, the kind of tile you want, the kind of designs, the lighting, everything about a gunite pool is super customizable. So that's a huge plus about gunite pools. Now, size and shape are huge factors when determining the price of your pool. In concept, the bigger the pool, the more materials required thus increasing the cost of your pool by what is needed. Pools can have different shapes and sizes. Kirby and round pools generally cost more because labor of building and shaping your pool increases. Another factor is the type of pool being installed. If the pool is going to be a shallow pool or really deep, like the image to the right, deeper pools like diving or jumping pools require more steel reinforcement, excavation and engineering, thus increasing costs by what materials or labor may be necessary. That's pretty self-explanatory. When you're wanting to try to save costs on your pool, size can save you the most. Of all the factors, size. And what I mean by that is don't try to make the smallest pool possible because that's because things go into a pool that are necessary for a pool. So obviously you're gonna need, you know, the materials and stuff like that, but and the pool equipment to run it but you just want to make sure that your pool is right for you. And so some tips on deciding what size or shape of pool is right for you. Um, consider what activities you most enjoy doing inside a pool. This will help you think of how deep your pool should be and or how long or wide your pool should be. So when you think about what activities you wanna do with your pool, whether it's jumping off into a deep end or if you just want like a, a pool to just kind of kick around, play volleyball in, swim around in, um, those can be huge deciding factors on what kind of pool to put in and what kind of size and shape you need based off the activities that you want to do in your pool. The most common pools are either a deep end pool where it kind of has a, like in this image right here, it has a really deep end and that's designed for a jumping structure at the end of the pool where you can jump into the pool safely without harming your head, your feet when you dive in or jump in. Um, they also have like a little flat area that you can play around uh, with basketball. Typically they have a wet deck, which is like a really shallow deck that for kids, or maybe if you just wanna like dip your feet in, but you don't wanna jump in. Um, there's, there's many reasons for having a wet deck, but that's the awesome thing about Gunite pools is they're very, very, very customizable. The second most common pool is a sports pool. Um, and that basically means that the pool has its deepest end in the middle. That way you can put a volleyball net um, and you can play volleyball in the water. And that way the people on this team are in the deep end struggling to keep up and they're not too shallow where they're just standing there. It's kind of even. So you can play volleyball and it's fun. You can make them whatever you want um, because Gunite is super, super customizable. Now, another tip on helping you decide what kind of pool is right for you or the size is you'd want to consider how you want to care for your pool. Larger pools take time to sweep and clean, but that's not always a deal breaker. Uh, round and curvy pools don't have automatic seamless covers like rectangular pools, thus creating an open area, collecting wind-driven debris, making pool maintenance a serious tour. So you wanna consider um, the size of pool. If you get too big of a pool, you're either gonna wanna hire some help or you know, if you don't wanna hire help, it's gonna be, you just gotta keep in mind that it's gonna take a little bit more time to do the things that are necessary to maintain your pool. And with Kirby pools in Utah, it's a state requirement to have a fence around a pool that doesn't have a pool cover. So if your pool can't be closed, um, that's going to create a, another expense because you'd have to put a fence around your pool 
to make it so that neighbors, dogs, animals, or children can't just walk over your pool and accidentally drown themselves. So rectangular pools are super popular just for that reason because everyone has neighbors. Some neighbors are more friendly than others. So you just kind of want to like keep your pool covered, keep things safe. And it's a huge benefit because it keeps your pool cleaner and makes it easier to clean and maintain. So to wrap things up, First, determine the size and shape of pool that you want. If you're trying to save money, considering making your pool as small as possible, here's a tip. Adding two to three feet uh, wider or longer to your pool sometimes doesn't affect as much the labor costs of things, but just the materials needed to you know, add those two to three feet. Keep that in mind because you can also try to make your pool as big as possible with keeping within your budget. Just knowing this helps you know the largest size you can do within your budget. Thank you everybody for tuning in. If you're curious and wanna look over our pool cost guide, it's available on our website. You can look for the link in the description below and you'll be able to find it.